a single spark can light a fire for liberty. Events surrounding a 19th century escaped slave in Boston provided that kind of spark. Anthony Burns was a Virginia slave owned by a man named Charles Suttle. In 1853, Burns escaped by ship to Boston, but his freedom was short-lived because Suttle soon came to reclaim his so-called property. Burns was arrested and held in the local courthouse. A crowd of abolitionists quickly gathered outside and the numbers grew to about 2,000 people. A small number led by a minister named Thomas Wentworth Higginson charged the courthouse and managed to breach a wall. During the melee, a federal marshal was stabbed to death, but despite these aggressive efforts, Burns remained in custody. Determined to see the Federal Fugitive Slave Act of 1850 enforced, President Pierce ordered federal soldiers to assist the guards watching over Burns, who was ultimately ordered back to Virginia by a federal judge. More than 50,000 people lined the streets of Boston to watch and protest as Burns was escorted to a ship for his return to Virginia. Federal troops had to hold back waves upon waves of protesters. But things weren't over after Burns was transported south. Even though they lost this round in the short run, it took holding Boston in an effective state of martial law and fueled an even greater resistance to the federal pro-slavery law. The events generated strong opposition to Pierce and his administration across the North. Massachusetts residents formed an anti-manhunting league. William Lloyd Garrison burned copies of the Fugitive Slave Act. And as a result of the efforts of the Vigilance Committee to lobby the legislature and governor against him, Edward G. Loring, the judge who tried Burns, was removed from office in 1857. In a broader sense, the Burns case fueled anti-slavery sentiments all across the North. One man, Amos Adams Lawrence, described his feelings about the whole situation as he thrust himself into the abolitionist movement. He said, We went to bed one night, old-fashioned, conservative, compromise union Whigs, and waked up stark mad abolitionists. Today, as the government ramps up its attacks on the Constitution and your liberty, it's normal to feel down or overwhelmed. But as the Burns saga shows, sooner or later they'll go too far, turning a spark into a firestorm for liberty. <laughs>